Ah, there he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death Rebel. I was looking for enemies. I couldn't find anybody to shoot. It's all quiet out here. I wanted to do a God Roll guide on this bygones, and there was just nobody around to shoot. I like to begin the video with a little bit of action. So, welcome. I am Death Rebel. This is a God Roll guide on the bygones. This is the Gambit, not Gambit Prime, just regular old Gambit pulse rifle. But uh, I think it's going to get a new time to shine because you can get this from the Obelisk Bounties. I don't know if you can get it from the Sundial, but I do know you get it from the Obelisk Bounties. You can run this as, uh, I think I have one on me right now. Let me check. Uh, I do not. Ooh, bounty complete. Uh, you can go to the Obelisk on Mars, I know, and pick up this bounty. You have to level up to like level 3 or something. And uh, every time you complete, it'll give you a bounty for a Bygones that when you complete it, it'll give you a random roll and it will give you a... Uh, You'll have to do some random uh, random activity to complete it, like finish five lost sectors or something like that. But it'll give you random bygones. Just straight up when you finish the bounty, here's your random bygones. I thought maybe we would do a little uh, God Roll Guide video. You're going to get one of these grenades in your face, sir. Oh, no, I didn't reload it. I didn't reload it, guys. Bad. All right, here we go. We like to do my God Roll Guide videos. We'll talk about the perks you can get on the gun, the different combinations, what I think are God Rolls. We'll look at my gun. We'll look at stats. Tell you where I like it and why I like it. And I uh, do the dang thing. All right, guys, listen. I have got things to do. You guys are going to have to get out of my face. Have that. Yep, you can take that. Yep, uh-huh. You can run and tell that, homeboy. Come on now. Yep, there you go. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, one more. Who wants it? Who wants it? You do. No? No? I'll just shoot you with it. Oh, sneaky one. It's got a little shield. Oh, ba -ba -ba All right, let's take a look at my bygones. And then we'll talk about the different perk rolls you can get on it. The one I have, uh, this was the first one I got from a bounty. I got a, uh, a pended mag opening shot slide shot with full bore polygonal armor piercing. I've got some much better rolls in my bank, but this was actually the one I got from the bounty. So I figured I would show you guys that one before we talk about the different perks that you can get. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and do that. Let's look at the perks that you can get, the random rolls and, and whatnot. We'll start with weapon stats because this one has some interesting weapon stats. Or not interesting, but it's a, it's an interesting gun because it is a very middle of the road gun. We'll talk about more about that after we look at the perks and the stats. So, impact of 29, range of 53, stability of 60. That's pretty decent stability. Decent handling and reload speed at 51. It is a mag 38, RPM 390, and it tends left. Aim assist is moderate at 61. Inventory size is decent. Zoom is, uh, you know, whatever. Recoil, bounce intensity, and it tends left. So it's an interesting gun. There is a curated roll. I cannot remember how you get it, but I have it. And it might have been an activity that has long since passed. I think you got it from the Drifter from doing something leveling up Gambit during Forsaken. Don't know that you can get it anymore, but it had full auto and kill clip with extended mag, flared mag, while corkscrew and arrowhead break. That one's in my vault somewhere. Trust me, it's there. <clears throat> so... Let's go ahead and look at the random rolls you can get. And I'm seeing some shading on this on light.gg. I don't know what that means. I wonder if this coordinates with the uh, <laughs> the new light uh, mods that you can get on your armor. I bet it does somehow. But I don't I don't understand why it's shaded. Why I don't know. Tell me in the comments why that looks like that on this website. <laughs> I'm hoping it's something cool in game, but I don't really know. Uh, so, let's see what you can get. Arrowhead break, it's extended barrel, fluted barrel, small bore, corkscrew rifling, polygonal rifling, chambered compensator, full bore, hammer forged rifling. I wonder if you can get a certain combination for certain bounty <coughs> bounty things. I don't really know. It's very interesting. But uh, arrowhead break, I like the most for pulse rifles because it'll center you up real nice. Uh, good for pulse rifles and scout rifles because it gives you that range. Gives you bonuses to recoil and handling. It does It does a very vertical centering of the recoil pattern. Extended barrel if you want uh, range and recoil. <clears throat> I don't let any of these kind of make or break my gun. If you got what you like, good. If you didn't get what you like, but you got everything else, I, I would call it good enough. Um, so you can see what each one of these does. They kind of give bonuses to certain things. Check the one you like. And uh, hopefully you get it. I like your and break. All right, mag perks. Extended mag will give you mag size increase with loss to reload speed. High caliber will give you a little bit of range, but it knocks targets back farther. Ricochet rounds will ricochet. Give you some range and stability. Flared magwell gives you stability and reload speed. Light mag gives you range and reload speed. Alloy magazine is a faster reload when the mag is empty. Uh, appended mag gives you 20% or plus 20 on the mag size. Uh, extended mag gives you plus 30, so 
A pendant mag, if you just need more mag size, that's the way to go. And then armor piercing rounds, extra damage to shields, and increases range slightly. On this gun, I don't know that there's a specific one that's amazingly better than the others. Pick your pick your uh, mag perk and go with it. I don't have a favorite here on this gun. I go with whatever I get, and hopefully it synergizes with the perk tree. So <clears throat> here's the perk tree. You can get Rampage, Kill Clip, High Impact Reserves, Opening Shot, and Range Finder in the first set. I like Kill Clip. That's a good one. Uh, opening Shot if you PvP real hard or Range Finder. But Kill Clip kind of is the all-around best one. I don't like high, high Impact Reserves when you have the option for Kill Clip or Rampage. I think those two will probably give you a uh, better situation. But High Impact Reserves is always active, whereas these two you have to activate through gameplay. <clears throat> but I like Kill Clip. Multi-Kill Clip does more damage, but you can't get it on this gun. So uh, Range Finder if you PvP your Opening Shot, I guess. Second... Perk tree, you got full auto, outlaw, slide shot, head seeker, and under pressure. On this gun, full auto is actually a lot of fun. It's not a bad choice. So don't shy away from full auto on this one. Outlaw's cool. I don't like outlaw so much on pulse rifles, but you can get it to proc pretty often. Slide shot if you need it. I don't like it on primaries. I like slide shot, slide shot on shotguns, if I can say that. Uh, head seeker's kind of nice, and under pressure's kind of nice. I would uh, look into that full auto. It's fun to have a full auto pulse rifle. Now we got a full auto exotic scout with a season pass, so a lot of pulse rifles, not a bad choice. So, if I could build out the perfect bygones, I would go arrowhead break, alloy magazine, with a quick reload when I empty the mag, kill clip, and full auto, I guess, or outlaw. Maybe kill clip outlaw would be a pretty good situation with this gun. It's kind of a throwback gun. It came from year two of Destiny came when gambit came so it's been a very interesting gun it's good in, it's one of those guns that's a middle of the road gun it's good everywhere it's not going to beat the top meta weapons but it's going to compete with them if you're good enough so don't uh don't feel bad if you don't have the uh the recluse or the outbreak prime you can make this gun work for you just as well because it's got a lot of different uh, options as far as perks go it's a good uh mid gun it's easy to use and it's not hard to get Especially now with the bounties that you can get from the obelisk. Anybody can do those. So, let me know what you think about this gun. What was the first roll you got on this gun? Or what's the first roll in Season of Dawn you got from the bounty on this gun? I'll be interested to know. Leave those in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this and you want to see more. It helps the channel grow. Leave a like. It does help the video grow. And uh, all the things. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I am Death Above. The password is a puppy dog. I will see you later.